issue of crude theft is more of a challenge to the nation than to the individual operators. And it is a challenge uh, because of the, um, the colossal amount of revenue that is being lost to crude theft. I mean, we are talking about uh, an estimated amount of 150,000 barrels per day. And that is a colossal amount. But on top of that, it's, it's what crude theft is doing to the environment, really creating serious pollution in the environment, which will also take millions of dollars to clean up. So I personally believe that this is a big challenge for the government of Nigeria, and we have to address it at its root. You've now connected uh, crude theft to environmental degradation, but there seems to be a lot of blame game going on in terms of um, the environmental degradation in the Niger Delta, with, um, with many activists blaming Shell. Why should you be blamed for this? Well, I personally believe that um, many activists do not have the right data at their disposal. Um, many activists believe that um, operators can control this crude theft, but I make bold to say that the oil and gas operators in the region have gotten to the limit of what they can do. Only government can actually stop crude theft in the region. And majority of the spill you see in the region, majority of the pollution you see in the region is coming from crude theft. If any activist is in doubt, I'm prepared to take them on a helicopter to overfly the region so that they can see for themselves the enormous amount of illegal refineries that have been implanted in the region. They can also see how crude theft is creating serious pollution. I don't think we should start to just talk about this anymore. People have got to be prepared to come out of their comfort zone and see things for themselves. This year's conference is talking about the state, um, the state of the Nigerian oil and gas industry, and you've been in the industry for quite a very long time now. What can you say about the country's state of oil and gas industry, particularly at a time when the country is faced with a lot of security challenges? I, I must say that uh, I'm very hopeful that the future is bright. And as I said at the conference this morning, we have huge resource base, 35 billion of oil reserve, 180 TCF of gas. So the resources are there. And government is also coming up with the right policies that will stimulate growth. So I think I am hopeful that we will be able to unleash you know, the, the, the full potential of the industry when all the pieces come together. Do you feel safe in terms of investments in the country? Because a statement by the Minister of Finance stated that the current security challenges has not deterred investors from trooping into the country. How safe do you feel as an oil, um, as an oil and gas company in the country? I, I would say that the amnesty program has been very helpful. It has made field operations a lot safer you know, than it was some five, six years ago. Um, so I feel reasonably safe. But I think it's important for us to sustain the peace.